So this thing about Kavanaugh, you, I'm sure you've all heard it. A woman has come forward, a professor who says that in high school, Brett Kavanaugh got drunk, uh, lay on top of her, tried to pull off her clothes. She felt he was trying to rape her, and then she escaped. They were both drunk. Everybody was drunk. And uh, she has now come forward. At first, she didn't... Um, she didn't. It was a, a letter that Diane Feinstein, Senator Diane Feinstein, had in her possession for weeks and weeks, and then she finally said, "I'm turning it over." But the woman wasn't named, uh, and now she has come forward, and uh, and has it says she will testify. Kavanaugh says that the whole thing is untrue, and that he too will testify. He completely denies it, but he says that he will now. Uh, he he's willing to go back and uh, and testify. Up about these things, and which he just says never happened. Now, I want to talk about this. I'm going to talk about the fact that I don't believe these charges and why I don't believe the charges. Sorry, I just want to make sure I know what I'm talking about here. Uh, why I, I don't believe the charges. But before I talk about that, I want to talk about something else. I want to talk about what, what about the fact, what about if the charges are absolutely true? What about if the charges are absolutely true? Her name is Christine Blasey Ford. Is that her name? Is that, have I got her name? Christine Blasey Ford. I think that's it. So I want to talk about what if this 53-year-old man of impeachable character, what if one night in high school when he was 17, he got drunk and felt up a high school girl who was also drunk? I don't care. I don't care. I don't give one rat's hair about that. I do not care if... now. I don't care if he were a left winger, if he were as left as left could be, if he used the Constitution for toilet paper, I would want him turned down from the Supreme Court for that. But for this, no freaking way. I don't care. This is if it's true, which I don't think it is. I want to be very clear, clear about this. If a, a man of unimpeachable character, right? This is a guy that everybody says is a great guy. He's, you know, they, the FBI has investigated him six times. Six times, nothing has come up. They pull this at the last minute after the hearings are over so he can't defend himself. He has to come back to defend himself. So the press has a chance to go through the whole weekend just, you know, absolutely attacking him. But let's just say, let us just pretend for a minute that this is true. I don't care. If this were a young a woman being appointed judge, and it turned out that she had had an abortion, which at least is permanent, is something you can't take back, right? I mean, this is, he, you know, he felt her up, but he didn't rape her or anything like that. That would be a different story. That's not the story we're telling. It's a story that he just got on top of her and he mauled her. If, if this were a woman who had had an abortion when she was 16 or 17, who said, you know, I did a terrible thing. I really feel bad about it, uh, you know, but I was 16, 17, I panicked. I wouldn't care either. Why not? Because teenagers have got to be able to be teenagers. What kind of compassionless, small-minded, puritanical, pinched, closed-hearted view of human life are we going to uh, are we going to live with to serve our politics? If people cannot be teenagers and make a mistake, that is obscene to me. I've told you many times that I think a new Victorian age is coming in lots of ways, in lots of very positive ways. But if it means, if it means that a person cannot get a job, a high placed job, because he did something one night when he got drunk in high school, again, not a rape, not a murder, not something that's, you know, completely permanent, destroys lives, just a little bit of, you know, bad behavior as a high school. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Which of us? I mean, Nobody can can uh, survive that. We've all done bad things. Everybody has done a bad thing. And who in Congress, what man in Congress, surely is, is not going to have some story from his high school? You know, is that really the standard that the left wants to set? Is it really the standard? And I say this again, if he were a leftist, I still, still would not hold this against him. If we can't be children, if we can't be teenagers, if we can't have flaws, if we can't be human beings... Who's left? Who, who, is going to, who is going to be a judge over us? Who's going to sit on the Supreme Court? Someone who knows nothing about the foibles of humankind? Who is, you know, everything about our Constitution is built with a knowledge of the foibles of humankind. That's why they pitched powers against each other. Are we really to serve our lousy politics, our mean, ugly, stupid, low politics? Are we really going to abandon our compassion for human beings such that we only will allow people who have never done anything 
to, to serve us. That is absurd. I don't care if it's true. Now, here's why I don't think it's true. I mean, there are lots of reasons why I don't think it's true. This lady, you know, I, I don't, I don't, I'm not going to attack her. Maybe she remembers this. Maybe she doesn't. Uh, she told it to a therapist in 2012. This is the first thing. She told it to a ther- the story to a ter- therapist in, in 2012, 30 years after it happened. She had never told it uh, to anyone before that he was trying to take off her bathing suit. The story in the therapist note don't men- match the story that she's telling now. They don't name Kavanaugh, and they say that there were four men in the room. Now she says that there's two men in the room. You know, but this she says that's the therapist's fault. She took the notes wrong. How on earth, how on earth do you defend yourself against the charge like that? How on earth do you defend yourself? So I dismiss it on that. The the woman, uh, Christine Blasey Ford, has a hazy recollection of the of the incident. She was drunk. She doesn't remember what happened. This the idea. I mentioned this before, but the idea that they released this here this uh, charge after the healing was over. They did the same thing. This is the Anita Hill playbook. This is the Anita Hill playbook. Anita Hill came forward, and I didn't care about that either. The only, you know the in, with Clinton, I didn't want Clinton to be impeached for what what he did. The only thing about Clinton was it was revelatory of his constant character. Bill Clinton's affair that he had in the offices that we pay for was revelatory of his constant character. He was constantly using and abusing women for his pleasure. He was constantly using and abusing Hillary for his power. You know, I mean, he treated her like garbage and she didn't like it very much by uh, according to all accounts. So that said something about his character. This says nothing about the guy. However, again, Kavanaugh has been investigated six times. There are all these women who have come forward and said that he was a wonderful guy. I think it's 65 women signed an affidavit. And the left's response to that was, that proves he's a bad guy. Why would he have to have so many people come forward if, you know, if he didn't, wasn't defending himself against something? So uh, the more people who come forward to defend you, if you happen to be a conservative, that condemns you. That is, that's what condemns you. The uh, other thing about this woman, and and this is important, uh, well, let me get to that in a minute. I want to talk about the way her students, she's a teacher, a professor. I want to talk about the fact that the way her students react to her. But first, uh, Kavanaugh's mother, uh, who was a circuit court judge, once ruled against her parents. That's something that may give her a grudge. And finally, she is a very left-wing Bernie-supporting Democrat who donates to left-wing causes and has previously signed an open letter challenging Trump's border policy. Some people said, for instance, that, well, when she first talked about this, it was 2012. And so Kavanaugh, but she didn't mention Kavanaugh at the time, it seems like. So uh, why would she say it if then Kavanaugh wasn't going to be in the Supreme Court in 2012? But Mitt Romney said he would pick Kavanaugh, too. He put uh, Kavanaugh very high on his list so that she may have had a grudge against him, uh, a political grudge against them, too. So I'm going to get back to her uh her students in just a minute. But uh, this is, it is such, this is such baloney. It is such a baloney thing to do. These guys will do anything to protect, the left will do anything to protect their power from the constitution. They do not want that evil constitution coming and taking their power away. One more thing about this, the accuser, uh, Christine Blasey Ford, Dr. Christine Blasey Ford. She is rated, uh, her, her students, you know, they give students give ratings to their teachers. Some of the things they say about her are, for instance, uh, something is wrong with her. Uh, she says she holds grudges against students who cross her. Here's one of the one of the things a student wrote. And these are before these charges came forward. These are like in, from 2014. Christine Ford is the worst educator I have ever experienced. Avoid taking her class and avoid any interaction with this person. I feel like she has something wrong with her and I'm surprised no one has caught this. Another one, Professor Ford is unprofessional, lacks appropriate filters, and I'm honestly scared of her. Uh, (laughs) She's like, you know, both uh, Roger Kimball and Myron Magnet, two of the smartest human beings I know. uh, Myron Magnet, who's at City Journal, and Roger Kimball, who often writes for The Spectator, uh, they are two of the smartest people. I always tease Kimball because he wears a bow tie. So he's the only man in America who wears a bow tie and means it because that's how smart he is. They both were comparing this to the Anita Hill playbook. Anita Hill, they told Anita Hill she wasn't going to have to testify. Ultimately, it became this enormous uh, circuit circus. They will say anything. They will do anything. They will slander anyone to stop the, their power from being taken away by the Constitution. I have to say, it's like 
It's like watching some kind of demon snake writhing in the hands of the people who are trying to pry the snake off the tower of its power. You know, it's like, I, you cannot give me, I am the snake of power. You will not take me away from my power. It's, it's insane, the viciousness, the viciousness, and the, the idea of what it is doing to our sense of what it means to be a human being is, it's despicable. It, is, it really is. It really is terrible.